For example, now I want uh, C, this node and this node in the same time. For C, this node in the same time, I can use, for example, uh, inside this uh, uh, structure, I can use the merge node tab, merge node. Um, the merge node is working with uh, the merge, the one input and another input and the n input. I can add, for example, 1000 input in one merge node. Is uh, The node is you can connect it. For connector, you can click here on the output and click with the left mouse button and connect. Okay. And for delete, you can select this line and press change or delete the key button and or for example you can take and grab up okay another way is for example for connect these two elements you can select together and drag and you can add here now it's connected but you don't see the effects of your match node. Why? Because I have the render now on my geometry box. So I have here, I have my blue flag here and I have active this node, not this node. If I click here, now I see my sphere, but it's the same situation of my sphere. Why? Because my sphere is very big and inside there is my box. In fact, if you go here, you can change, for example, the kind of uh, the, um, the style of a visualization. You can create the wireframe box, wireframe shader, wireframe ghost, wireframe all elements. You can see there is one box and one geometry. Okay, and the flat shader, flat with the wireframe. You can choose. Uh, the smooth, maybe this you can see the difference with the light, but you can use, for example, the flat shader by default is flat with the line. I know there is my sphere and one box here. Now I want to move it, for example, my sphere near my box so I can see all geometry together in the merge node. And for do that, I can, for example, select it. If I go to see my parameter, here I have the center. Okay, what is the center? If I press one, it's moved. It's changed the center where it's created. But uh, this operation in some cases is good, in some cases is not good. Why? And why I prefer use another way? Another way, it's created with the transform node. When you work with uh, the geometry uh, in the object, when you work here in the object uh, network inside the geometry, you say you work in the SOP. In the SOP is the kind of um, operation and you can use the transformation SOP tab transformation and you can see here is is this node now it is report one error okay and with this with this uh, triangular red triangular you can click here if you say hey you don't connect nothing okay you don't have the source is connected so is it's true because I don't have the input here and the input is a requirement. So this node is called, or node now we can create in the modeling is called the SOPs. So, and now I can or drag and drop here and you see is another aspect more powerful of the proceduralism. You have created the connection here, but you don't disable this connection. So if I can, Net now I and go here and for example change the translate in one I see I have the double sphere. I have a two sphere 
and for example you can change this key here for all axes I have two sphere and one box is connected. This is another aspect very powerful of proceduralism and of Houdini. You can use one geometry for create more kind of geometry. Why it's happened that? Uh, because here I have one task and the task is say create the geom geometry. This geometry is the sphere, but the important is create the geometry. Now I have here another task with uh, this geometry is moved of one and is scale and the result is this. Then I connect this result to this node where I have this and this. And so for that I see this situation. I can now select this line if I don't want and can I delete. Now I see my box and my sphere. And my box is uh, here with this coordinate, these sides, and uh, my sphere is uh, with uh, move it in this coordinate and with a scale with a 0 0.5. This the half is respect the original radius. Okay. But you can see here now. Also, I can now I can move all together, and for move all together, I can create another transform sock, and I can connect. There is uh, some way for uh, move it and for create uh, uh, the node in um, without creating the connection. I can click, click here and drag. If I press tab and create transformation node in automatic, is create the connection. Okay, it's the same way if you can create uh, the node from the viewport. There is sometimes there is the difference when you work in the network and when you create the node from the viewport. From the viewport, for example, now I have selected my merge node. I can move it here and move here. I have able the viewport. If I press tab and transformation, okay, it's not created. Transform, you see, is creates. I selected here the nodes, and here is creating automatic my transform node. Now I can also move it in the viewport. It's the same move here or move here. Here, when I change, for example, the dimension, I can use, if I press the, or the middle mouse button on one parameters, every parameters, or on, for example, uh, the name, for example, translation, I have this menu. This menu is very, nice because uh, you can move it uh, with the change with uh, point, uh, one. So it's point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3 or point 0.01 is uh, choose uh, the dimension of uh, your changes or for example 10 is 10, 20, 40 etc or uh, 100. 100, 200, 300, etc. Or 001. You can choose your how much you can change. Or you can move it from here. And for example, you can change, you can want the specific dimension. You can, for example, 1.25. And you can move it. Now, here. I move it. And finally, usually when you finish your work, you can use uh, the particular node is called null. Tab null. And the null node is the, um, the node where is arrive all information 
and we can scroll, for example, out geometry work. And is the last node where you can say, hey, I work here, and for sure, you, you should be sure it's my final result is that. You can use this node, is uh, is no null object. It's not uh, have uh, any effects, but is uh, you can use for uh, say this is my last node. I am sure is my last node. Uh, we can step back here. If I select my node, maybe I don't want to change this. Uh, uh, or this, for example, I don't want to change uh, here the scale. I want to disable the, um, the information I apply here. I can select and I can say bypass. If I bypass, I see all information after is changed in automatically. And here you can find the final result, but I can also select and bypass, disable and enable. Another aspect more important is uh, here you don't see my box 01, okay, my famux box box. Why? Because here I have uh, the show all object, and you can see all object, but uh, now here I can select this object I can select only the object inside my node only this here I can show like a ghost another object so I see the ghost is transparent is uh, it's not uh, it's like the placeholder you can say hey here there is one part of uh, the geometry but uh, my geometry here is uh, more shaded and you can work with uh, very easy on, on it. Or you can hide other object is not uh, included in my network. But another aspect is more important is the order. Here you have the, the one line is cross another line. Okay, you can move it up like old school you can have this line or this line. Sometimes when you work, maybe you can have the, some nodes is around like this. Mm, it's not more uh, good to see the structure is very chaos in, with the line. If you press L, you can find a fantastic way for organize your line with the order. Sometimes we can press L is not a good idea because uh, Houdini maybe take some nodes and you can find maybe this part here and maybe you can create more confusion for you. This, this line, maybe some tutorials, some guides, some uh, helper or documentation you can find with this kind of line. Okay, with Berthier. The Berthier line, you can uh, shift and S, or down shift and press S. You can switch with the, this kind of line, but uh, usually I prefer them to use it. More important, when you come back, so you can press U for up level. You have here my box, and you have here my geometry. Here I have two different flag. Now I have four flag. I have one flag is green, is selected. You can select or not selected. You can see now you can select in viewport, but I can select this. And one is for view for render. You can hide or not hide. I have another icon here with the E, okay? Also, I see if I jump inside, I can select one node and you can see I have the E. The E is the node information. It's the same, you can click 
on E and here you can find all information about this node. Also the same if you press the middle mouse of button in the middle of the icon, uh, you can have the same, okay, but the difference is this, this is float, but is a temporary float and this uh, you can pin it, you can move it and for example you can have a fix here for search uh, some information here and etc etc this is the difference another little uh, aspect you can see in the viewport for example is the grid construction but also is the color the color of your background maybe this is the stupid things but uh, in some cases, it's very uh, useful to have the different uh, kind of uh, uh, color in background. If you, if you press D, for example, from the keyboard, you can here, you can have the marker, the display option with the marker. The marker, for example, I can, sorry, I can hide all geometry. And for example, press the, the market, for example, you have the market. Ah, okay, is the, um, the market we can see when we work. For example, on my box, I want to see my number. I have the number of my polygon. I have the point number. I have the normal. Okay, I can uh, able here by default or, or not. The grid, for example, this is very, for example, the ori, origin, I can enable or not. But the color, for example, you can find in the background. In the background, you can find the color scheme is light, is dark, or is gray. We can change sometimes maybe we can use dark because we need to to check something with the dark is very uh, good respect to the 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 blue the light is blue for example for when you work with particles maybe it's very nice to use the dark because you can see immediately where is the particles or with the the light sometimes you don't see that but also more of this uh, option we can see when uh, when you work with some example so you can uh, split the viewport in the different view for example from here you can have the single view the four view so the top the front the right and the perspective and for example on the two or for example the tree and etc etc for come back on the original viewport so the original uh, system you can uh, uh, press the space bar and h you can have the home and this is the original simulation with g for example you can move it and press the shift um, Space bar G is uh, uh, moved on selected and with the space bar A it's the zoom is fixed the zoom on all my selection.